Russia's Perspective on NATO's Expansion in Eastern Europe When NATO expanded eastward after the Cold War, Russia saw it as a threat to its security. The Soviet Union had long been wary of Western military alliances, and as one of its successor states, Russia feels the same way. Russia's perspective on NATO's expansion in Eastern Europe is shaped by its history, geography, and perception of the West. Historically, Russia has been invaded and occupied by foreign powers many times. It has fought wars against Sweden, Poland, Napoleon, and Nazi Germany, among others. In each case, Russia was able to resist and ultimately defeat the invaders, but not without suffering massive casualties and destruction. For Russia, the lesson is clear, it must have strong defenses to protect its people and territory. When it sees NATO expanding eastward, it sees the potential for yet another invasion or occupation. Geographically, Russia is vulnerable to attack from Europe. Its western border is just a few hundred miles from Berlin, and its southern borders are close to Turkey and the Middle East. In addition, Russia's vast territory and sparse population make it difficult to defend. Russia therefore sees NATO as a hostile force that is encircling it and threatening its security. It fears that NATO's expansion into Eastern Europe will bring the alliance closer to its borders, making it more difficult for Russia to defend itself. Perception also plays a role in Russia's perspective on NATO's expansion. As a former superpower, Russia wants to be treated as an equal by the West. It resents what it sees as the West's arrogance and disregard for its interests. Russia also believes that the West is trying to promote an agenda of liberal democracy that is antithetical to its own values and traditions. This perception is reinforced by Russia's state-controlled media, which portrays the West as hypocritical and hostile. What can be done to address Russia's concerns about NATO's expansion in Eastern Europe? One possibility is to negotiate a new security architecture that includes Russia. This would require difficult compromises from both sides, but it could help to alleviate Russia's fears and increase cooperation between Russia and NATO. Another possibility is to engage Russia in a dialogue about its security concerns. This would require the West to acknowledge Russia's legitimate interests and to seek common ground on issues such as arms control, terrorism, and energy security. Ultimately, the key to resolving Russia's perspective on NATO's expansion in Eastern Europe is to build trust and confidence between Russia and the West. This will not be easy given the deep-seated suspicions and mistrust on both sides. However, it is essential if we are to avoid a new Cold War or worse. In the end, we share a common interest in advancing peace, security, and prosperity in Europe and the world. By working together, we can achieve this goal.